Hello there, Aries. Welcome. Okay, so this is October reading, 2023. And this is a reading of what's the primary issue in your life right now? What's going on? Let's see. What are we going to look into for you? Okay, so it's the Knight of Wands. Okay. It's Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be your energy. It could be dealing with someone else that you're looking into. They could be like a Don Juan, Don Wanda. Hawkus also could be someone with jack of all trades. You know, are very impulsive at times. Oh, okay, we have the doggy here. So there's also someone that's very loyal, dependable. Get the Knight of Wands here. So what do we have going on? Let's see, we have here, what you're not seeing is someone's healing. The Four of Swords here. Okay, let's see, why do we have this Knight of Wands here for the issue? Let's see. We have here... This is the lovers. Okay. This is our choice card. Gemini energy, the lovers. And we have here, ooh, we definitely have a love connection here. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. And we have the Strength card. So are you trying to gain the passion, the strength to do something here? Because there's a lot of passion here with this connection. So either you're in the Knight of Wands or you're dealing with a Knight of Wands. But it's definitely some kind of partner, some choice here. Trying to get the strength to... I think you have a lot of passion for someone. And maybe it's a... Let's see what's... I don't know why we're doing this. Let's, we have to look into it. Let's see. We have the High Priestess. Okay. There might be secrets being kept here. This is what you're not seeing. Secrets. Something about healing. Um, trying to heal from something that happened. Maybe trying to heal from the secrets that were kept. This also could be that someone's intuition is very strong here with the High Priestess. Virgo Cancer Energy. So it could be your energy that you're the High Priestess. Okay, let's get into this. Let's see what we're looking into here. What happened in the distant past then? What happened in the distant past? Okay, Six of Cups. Okay, so this is a person from the past. There's memories here. This could be... You know, of course, I, I guess we're going to lean towards love here. So we're looking in the love connection here. Um, so somebody from the past, maybe someone you, you knew since childhood, maybe they, they still hold your heart or, you know, we have here, the chariot. Somebody moving here quick here. That is cancer energy. Okay, let's see. What happened in the distant past? Six of Cups, memories. Let's see. We have a four of swords. You're, you heal from this. You heal from a connection from the past, but it, this was very stressful, caused you a lot of anxiety. Okay, mentally draining here. Oh, okay, they hurt you. So whoever this person is, this is still an issue for you. This is still, you know, there's still passion, still the desire for this person. This happened in the past, you heal from it, but there's still a pain here. Um, this puts you through a lot. Okay. Then we have three of cups. Definitely could have been three people. They put you in a third party situation. Like the three of swords doesn't always mean a third party, but it seems like it does in this case. So, um, hmm. Yeah, so if it isn't someone cheating, it could be anything outside the connection. It could be a long distance relationship. It could be... Um, someone had addictions. It could have been family or friends or somebody, co-worker, somebody got involved or got in between you and started trouble. It could be anything. It could be jealousy, envy, um, someone not trusting someone. Something could have happened there. Okay, so let's see. What happened in the recent past concerning this, since we're going into it? What happened in the recent past? We had the Ten of Hazards. Okay, something about maybe someone's in a commitment. So did you just find out that maybe this person is now in a commitment? We have here the Page of Swords spying. Someone might be spying on someone. This could be something to do with family. This could be something about money. This could be something about commitment. Let's see. This could be hazard, having it all here in the recent past. Let's see. Ooh, we have Eight of Cups. Someone might... Ooh. Oh, I see. 
maybe this person walked away from a commitment, a marriage or a situation, and you just found out about it. And now we have the Knight of Wands again. Ooh, so they might be coming back around. Okay, so I'll take this as this person. And they might be a Don Juan, Don Wanda, and they... They hurt you. They brought you into a third party situation. Now that ended and they're coming in. And you don't know if they're full of hot air. <laughs> that worked f nicely in there. And you're not trusting them. You're not seeing things. You're you're trying to look at things logically. But you're not. You're t I, I feel like you're too involved in this to actually look at this. And see what the truth is. Okay, let me get one more. Yeah, you would like to have an even balance with this person. I think you would give them a shot if you know that they could stay loyal. And it'll be just you and be back, just the two of you, not not throwing someone else in this connection here. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles. You might be focusing on your money here. Um, you know, this is like, also someone could be watching you because you're focusing on your money. Maybe someone's aware you're making money. That could be, because the Queen of Pentacles does all right. They're very comfortable here. Financially, you know, material-wise, there's comfort. So someone could be watching you and say, hey, Aries is doing all right. So they might be watching. So be a little um, leery on that part. Okay, so now, what's happening in the present? Okay, so we do have the King of Hazards. Ooh, matches the Queen here. This is the King of Pentacles. So right now... It seems like either your person or you doing quite well financially. I think you both might be. We, oh, there's love here. Okay. Because I was thinking this as your energy. So I'm thinking your person, like now you guys match. Maybe you didn't match financially before, but now you do. Oh, Ace of Swords. Someone wants to speak their truth. And we have the hangman. Look at how that's sticking out. We have the Ace of Swords and the hangman sticking out. So someone's waiting. Gaining a new perspective. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. Let's do that. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles in the present. Let's, let's scoop on this. Okay, so we have here, this is the King of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you. Hmm. You're not trusting it, though. Okay. So we have here an elephant. Memories. They're thinking back. Their memory. Maybe, you know, they're realizing they treated you wrong. Regretting it now. Let's see what else we get. Okay, we have here the hermit going within. Um, may this person have been alone. And we have the chariot. Now they want to come fast towards you. This is in present energy. They might have been going within and and really looking at things. Maybe going through the dark night of soul here. Virgo energy. The chariot is... Um, cancer energy now expect them right in the present now they're coming in quick we have the cancer show we have the chariot show twice here okay do you have the knave of swords this this person's been spying on you they've been watching you <clears throat> keeping tabs on you this came up twice now okay so they've been keeping tabs on what you've been doing okay so now the immediate future what are we gonna get the immediate future Judgment. Okay, you're going to have to decide what you want to do. This person's coming back around. They want to tell you how much they love you, how much they care for you. And they're hoping to to make a go of this. They're coming in very quick. You're going to have to decide what you want to do. What don't you see? The lovers. Okay. This person's really intending to have this love connection with you again. Okay, let's clarify the judgment. Gemini energy for the lovers. Let's see. We have, yeah, someone is planning on speaking their truth here. Cutting out what does not belong. Maybe removing these extra people. May they already did. And they have here, this is a nine of wands. They're, they want to fight for this. They want to protect this connection. And you might have your boundaries up though with the nine of wands. And we have here, this is a tower. I think they might surprise you. They might just suddenly show up. Aries, Scorpio energy with the tower. But something's going to happen out of the blue. Something's going to be very surprising here. Okay. What else don't we have? Oh, Ten of Pentacles. They want a commitment. We got the lovers. You don't see this, but they're expecting to come back here and get into commitment with you. You have a choice, so we got the lovers card. Okay, so now let's go into 
the factors that will affect the outcome of this issue. Let's see. The five of hazards. Yeah, this would be it because you're afraid that you're going to be left out in the cold again. This person did you wrong. So, you know, you know, this competition is there. Um, there's going to be quarrels or arguments or disagreements or conflicts. That would affect the situation. Five is also changed. What you don't see is Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person is a charmer. Um, male or female? Don Juan, Don Wanda. Okay, and but you know that already about this person. Okay, let's see about this Five of Hazards. What's going on with the Five of Hazards here? We have here, okay, waiting on something, seeing things in a different perspective. Things might have changed. Pisces energy. We have here the Magician. This person is trying to manifest this. Okay, Aries, um, Aquarius energy. And then we have here the Nine of Cups. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They should have seen it before. Okay, now we have, they want commitment here. This is what, what you're not seeing. They want this commitment. Okay, let's see the outcome, possible outcome for you guys. What is the possible outcome? We have the Page of Wands. Well, they're coming in to, con they're going to talk to you. They're going to contact you somehow, some way. Empress. I think they realize you're the Empress. Libra Taurus energy, but this is like, you have it all. You might be a mother or a child. Someone might be pregnant here with the Empress coming up. But this is also financial abundance. The most abundant card in the deck. This is your energy. You don't see it yet, but it's coming in. Or maybe you are already there, but it's not really being shown here. Okay, we have the see. Okay, this is like new love. So this person might want to start over and act like, you know, just start a fresh start here. The seahorse here. Okay, let's clarify. A page of wands. We have here. Knight of wands. Yeah, again, this person's cut. Or no, I'm sorry. This is a knave of wands, I think, right? Knave of wands. Okay, so the, clarifying the page of wands with the knave of wands, which is also the page of wands. So, yeah, there's definitely messages coming in. Okay, this person's saying they changed. Got the lizard here. They're trying to want to prove to you that they changed. Let's see what else we have. And we have here the five of pentacles, but still you're worried about being left out in the cold. Okay, and we have here. This is the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Okay, and you might leave it to fate to see how it plays out. We do have the Fool. This person wants a new beginning with you. They see you as the Empress. So you, they might say, hey, I really messed that up. And they're coming back to try to have a new start with you with the Fool. Aries, Aquarius, Energy. Okay, guys, they want a new beginning. They're realizing now what you actually meant. And it might be just too late. Okay, so let's get in on this Knight of Wands. Let's see. Okay, we have Mystery, Finances, Tower. Ooh, so something's happening here with someone's finances. It's some kind of mystery and something might be exposed or expelled or changed or shift or... Let's see what we get for the money. Ooh, someone's giving someone money. Maybe when someone's coming in to, for money, or someone could even be have to pay out money. Okay, so I don't know what that means. It's going to be different for everybody. But there's some kind of mystery. Something's coming out of the blue. Something shocking about finances. Okay, what about this Knight of Wands? We have drama, never, soulmate. Now, I'm, never, I'm not going to say never drama, because it feels like you had a lot of drama with this person. So... Maybe that's it. You figure they can't be a soulmate because there's too much drama. That's what I'm feeling. You guys can rearrange it and mean whatever seems to make sense to you. Let's do this King of Cups. Married. Always. Will you? Okay, maybe this person always wanted to marry you. They might ask you now. This is a present energy. They might be asking you to marry them. Okay, what about the King of Pentacles? We have denying reunite sincere okay someone's trying to be really sincere they want to reunite with you but they're they're denying something okay now what about this page of wands we'll do this one first hidden keeps the money 
revealed okay some, something was hidden is being revealed and someone either keeps the money or telling you to keep the money let's get a clarifier on the money we have here someone might burn through money wasted money burn through money and that might be revealed okay what about this page of wands intruder apart accuse okay someone might be accusing someone of intruding in this connection um why you were apart or broke you apart take it how it might resonate for you okay let's see here what are the signs you can be dealing with here what are the signs for aries what are the signs we have sagittarius libra cancer pisces gemini and gemini again okay so this could be placement your chart placement other people's charts past present and future we have sagittarius libra cancer pisces gemini gemini okay let's do the letters now we're gonna do 11 letters for initials first name last name if you get both the initials for someone's first and last name and they have a middle name you know that middle name get that initial also all the better past present and future also your own initials we have p q v f h i b i G, we got big here. Hi, big. <laughs> A, D. Okay. So, the letters we have for you today are P, Q, B, F, H, I, B, I, G, A, D. Now, we'll do the names. Let's do 11 or more names. Let's do what names we want to call for you guys. Okay, so we have Luke, Marcel, M-A-R-I-C-E-L. We have Francina, F-R-A-N-C-E-S-S-I-N-A. And Maquel, M-Y-Q-U-A-L-A-E-L. Diane, da Daniela, Hayden. Maddie, M A T T I E, Jackson, Jackie, J A C Q U E, Lavette, L A V E T T E, we have Lisa, L I Z A, and we have Latonya, L A T O N Y A. So we have three, do this right, three. 6, 9, 12, 13 names. Okay, so those are names. And remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. And when your other placement might give you that missing link, that missing piece of the puzzle. Um, so um, check those out. And also, at the end of each one of your reading. I give you the link to the previous reading, so there'll be a little pop that comes here, a little thumbnail. Click on that, and I'll bring you to the previous reading, which was the love readings for October 2023. So if you haven't checked them out, you want to check them out, just click on that little thumbnail. It'll take you right there. Um, otherwise, um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. Um, I'm so grateful, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.